after in last 34 years bachpan bachao antolan have rescued more than 83525 children according to the board that is their reception how difficult and challenging was this mission yeah it it, it it's always challenge it's always a challenge because when i started on this issue in 1981 it was a non issue my own people my own family members couldn't understand what could not understand what i'm talking about they think that this is poverty the poor children are working good or bad whatever so it was very hard if if the case was that the problem was registered was acknowledged was known was recognized as a problem then it was comparatively easy to look for some way when you know that this is the target then you will try to find your your way your path but when you are looking at at a problem which is non existence in the minds of people then you have to make your own way and there is a big rock and there is another rock and another rock you have to break all those rocks and find your and make your own way not just search a way so it was a tough fight i lost two of my colleagues one was shot then but one was beaten to death many of my friends have been beaten up badly i have injuries on all my body yeah i have seen some photographs <laughs> <laughs> so uh, but uh, every time when i was hit i feel that oh good i am doing something good because when evil try to kill you then you become more strong and this is this is the proof that you are on the right path they had to work 18 or 19 hours and anyone who so much as dared to talk out of turn would be beaten up by men with clubs and abused horribly even as a kind of hysteria builds kailash remains calm it's very difficult for them to realize or internalize the freedom because they are born and they are grew up here and some of them are old uh, while working here in slavery so it it takes some time for them to to understand what is what is this uh, freedom ha aa jaao aa jaao ha ab tum aap apne ghar jaoge aaram se then suddenly kailash realizes that things are not going as planned the truck that is supposed to carry everyone away from the quarry is nowhere to be seen in the way you are exposing uh, the problems uh, and uh, the other side of government and police so how how you face a threat from uh, this state always 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 i am i am very fortunate father that one day my son and i was beaten up badly we were injured and uh, with heavy blood loss we were both of us were falling on the streets and the bypassers took us to hospital and uh, doctor put us in, in in emergency and gave some medicines and saline and injections and we were little bit able to speak to each other we were smiling i said how are you feeling he said i am feeling very good i said i am feeling proud too how many how many father uh, and son duo are lying in hospital for the cause of girls who been trafficked and enslaved and to free them so i am very lucky in that sense so um, these kind of things happened my daughter was in very serious danger she has got several death threats um by mafia and uh, thanks to my friends um, uh, abroad uh, who insisted her and my wife to uh, to give all protection in in usa and they 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 paid all the money and all um, all the cost of her education and stay for several years and she studied there but she had big love for india and she came back and she wanted to work here and live here so um it was like that it was not easy it was not easy i i i i i still feel the heavy burden heavy burden of the dead bodies of two of my friends who are martyrs shahid dhum das and shahid adarsh uh, they lost their lives for the cause apart from government how is the attitude of political class uh there are always good people and there are always bad people everywhere in politics in society in 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 business in religions in culture <laughs> everywhere so it's a mix 
situation. But definitely there is a serious lack of global political will towards the children. We have seen a very strong civil society movement recently led by Anna Hazari and Arvind Kejriwal. What was your attitude towards them and what is your political views in fact? Uh, I am not a politician and I don't want to become a politician. But what I am doing is the politics. Every single thing which is done for the change in society, for the betterment of society, for justice in society is the politics. It was said that politics is a short-term religion and religion is a long-term long politics. Ramanur Lohia said it in the, the, the socialist thinker of India. So what we are doing is the politics, but we don't believe in any political theories, we don't believe in a kind of political party. We have to work with every good person in every good party, or whatever party, the good people are there, so we have to work with them. Uh, I, I am not fortunate really to meet uh, these people you mentioned, Anna Hajari ji, and uh, I, I, I think I met um, Arvind um, once or twice, um, yeah, and I, I wish all the best for them.